Power Rangers Cosmic Fury is going to premiere very soon and what we know for now is that this is possibly the last season of the series as we know it. We all know that for 30 years the Power Rangers has been a series aimed at a children's audience with a very specific format that we all know, but now the franchise is going to stop after Cosmic Fury to make a reboot. Supposedly, the changes they are going to make in the reboot will be to create a new universe and that entire new story will have no connection to everything we have seen so far. This means that Cosmic Fury could be the end of this entire story that we've seen for so long. Obviously, this would happen in the order that we have seen the series since we all know that in the Power Rangers timeline there are teams even after the year 3000. What I want to talk to you about is the possible endings that this final season may have since, being the end of everything, then we the fans deserve a great ending. This is something that is very difficult to happen since, possibly, the producers didn't know that Cosmic Fury was going to be the last season when they filmed everything, and this meant that perhaps they couldn't make the ending that we all deserve. What we do know is that Cosmic Fury is going to have a great ending as it is going to be the last season of Dino Fury and according to what the producer said, this series is going to have less filler scenes. This means that we are going to have a lot of action, story, drama, and possibly one of the best endings. We must remember that with this finale we are going to say goodbye to one of the best Power Rangers teams and the second team with more seasons. Even though the producers possibly didn't know about the reboot, let's just think that they made the series to give us one of the best endings ever. So, what should the perfect ending look like? If you haven't seen the last season of Dino Fury yet, I must warn you that you're going to find some spoilers in this video. Those who already watched the last season of Dino Fury know that Zaido died at the end, but we also know that somehow, he was able to revive. If in Cosmic Fury we are presented with the demise of some ranger, then it would be something repeated and I think this would not be the best ending. Because of this, I think the producers will have a hard time surprising the fans since they can't use this option because they used it in the previous season. We all know that a good ending also depends on having a good villain and in this season, we already know that the main villain is going to be Lord Zed. Obviously, Lord Zed has always been one of the best villains and in Dino Fury, they have made him shine even more. The Lord Zed we saw in Dino Fury looks more powerful than the one we met in Mighty Morphin, so this is a plus for us to have a good ending. Despite this, I think that if they want to make a big impact and mark the story, they should add something else. Lord Zed on his own is amazing, but if they add another villain that we already know, then this is going to make a big impact. We know that Rita was destroyed in the special episode, but the only thing that was destroyed was her robot body as her essence is possibly still roaming through space. Lord Zed could be brought back in with his own body, so we don't know if he's going to want to bring Rita back as well. This is going to bring the two most iconic villains of the franchise together again and with this detail alone we would have one of the best moments of the franchise. We also know there are a lot of villains, so it would be awesome if we could see several villains together facing off against the Rangers and the Morphin Masters. This would be an epic, explosive, and dramatic finale, which would close the Power Rangers story in style. We know that it is very difficult to bring back many of the villains as it would increase the budget, plus there are many actors who are likely to refuse to return. Still, they could create something that is simply symbolic so that we have the representation of these villains. Having several villains could be epic, but for that ending to be complete, they must bring back several old rangers as well. This is something that many fans have been asking for a long time and if it is going to be the end of this stage that we have known for 30 years, it is only fair that we get to see old rangers from other teams. 
We also know that it is very difficult to bring back many of these actors, even some of them no longer have the physique to represent a ranger in the suit, but they can use the same strategy that we saw in the special episode. Here they used two different ways to bring back several rangers and this is the same thing they can do in Cosmic Fury. In order to have Jason, Tommy, and Trini, they used the rangers only in their suits with their helmets on and sometimes we could hear a little bit of the voice of each of them in the middle of the fight. The other way they used is that some rangers were only working in other areas as did Adam and Aisha, who never used the suit, but their appearance thrilled all the fans. There are rangers who can have an appearance and could only use the voice of the original actor. This way, we could see the ranger in action and at the same time hear his voice. This would make us feel that we are actually seeing the ranger and not a stunt double. This was exactly what we were missing in the special episode as we could see Jason, Tommy, and Trini, but not hearing their voices made us feel like it wasn't really them. Obviously, we know that Trini's voice was very difficult to use as the production would have had to look for recordings from the first seasons to maybe use some generic dialogue. Jason and Tommy's voices were easier because even though Jason's actor could not leave the United States, he was still able to record the voices. In the case of Tommy's actor, it was a bit more complicated for various reasons as the voice recordings were possibly done after his death and, even then, we know that the actor was not eager to return to the Power Rangers. Possibly, these are some of the challenges that they may face to bring back some Rangers, but if this is going to be the end of this stage, then it is worth the effort. Write in the comments some of the rangers and villains you would like to see appear in Cosmic Fury. I think there are some rangers that should be present as it would help the story a lot and it would make a lot of sense to have them return. The first one I should mention is Billy, since as we talked about in another video, this ranger still travels through space and has the intelligence to be able to help the rangers defeat a villain as powerful as Lord Zed. The other ranger that should appear is Andrus since he also knows space very well and his bravery can be very helpful in this final battle. Another ranger that should appear is Jen, the pink time force ranger, as she can time travel and it makes a lot of sense that she knows everything that happened in this battle. She is going to know how she can defeat Lord Zed and her weapons from the future can also help the rangers. We don't know if we're going to have a great ending like this one, full of different villains from the past and several awesome rangers we already know. We just know that we should have a good ending since this is going to be Dino Fury's last season. If you would like to see a great finale like this, like this video and subscribe for the best Power Rangers finale ever.